On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we're waking up in Akron, Ohio. And honestly, that's a pretty cool view. Let's get over to J&J Auto Wrecking. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Jericho and today we are here with the Alpina V7 again because instead of getting a different car, we're just gonna keep driving this thing. And it looks like the tires held up all night, so let's hop in it and get over to the salvage yard. I forgot we went 160 miles, so time for another quart of True North Premium. Moment of truth, Alpina. What a car. Might be a little shaky on start, but it doesn't let you down. It's got the artificial rev limit right now. The first like three times I tried it this morning, there was zero power and we had the flashing check engine light of death. But uh, I think we might have sucked all the oil back out of the thing and sent it out the exhaust, so it's probably doing better. Look at the tack wandering. I can feel that I only have like a little of the power. Oh, it's searching. We made it. And there's a chance I'm down multiple cylinders because it was running uh, pretty poorly when I pulled out of the hotel and then it seemed like it cleaned up and then it was just gone. There's no power at all and it's shaking and it doesn't want to take off from a stop anymore. <laughs> what an amazing car, but these windy roads, I was bombing and that thing was amazing. So I found the sport mode and it firms up everything. Does it? Everything. I didn't even remember this had electronic suspension. I, I, I didn't know until like two does. turns away. Man. Wow, that was a big boom. Also, uh, there's an on-ramp that was like connecting two highways and that thing was at a four-wheel slide, just screaming. Oh, the 76, it was, yeah. It was awesome. Was exactly oh man, that, that car is so good. We got our flashing check engine light of death back. Like I said, we are here at J&J &J Auto Wrecking to have a day of fun. And the first thing I wanna show you, I just pulled in, look at this, a C6 with, of course, it's a Z06, so it's got the LS7, there's the dry sump. I walked up to this and I was like, what kind of crazy suspension is under this? It's not the suspension. The dry sump is literally pushed in half and it's something you don't get to see very often, the baffling in there where the oil drains back through. So anyway, this is a pretty crazy totaled C6 and they're gonna part this out. So if you need an LS7, they do automatically shut down when they run out of oil. This one will be for sale, uh, I'd say immediately they'll have parts coming off of this. Pretty cool way to start this tour off. This is a little bit of a behind the scenes, like a really in-depth tour that most people never get to do. This is where they bring the cars in and uh, they wash them up, take pictures of them, check everything out. They got a super nice room for that. It's well lit so you get good pictures of the parts. This is where they tear the cars down. You can see a bunch of cars on lifts and a Viper engine hanging out right there. There's a Viper crank. That's sweet. They've got this main building where all the inventory is like archived and cataloged, super well done, all of it's ready to ship. So tons of parts are just ready to go all the time. So we're gonna walk around the yard here and check out a couple of the cars. This Volvo XC70 I'm in love with. This is an incredibly rare Nissan SER Spec V. Check this thing out. Man, if that's a car you want, it's got the factory Rockford system. Probably doesn't have any miles on it. It's super clean in here. I mean, weird sticker on the shifter, but man, that is cool. The rare Sentra. Uh, Charger RT, a Daytona that's in weirdly like very good shape. Still alive too, the gauges just woke up. Push start. Man, that's thing's stripped. Pretty loaded car, a lot of fun too. The RTs are honestly a pretty good value, but at this point, like you can get 392s so cheap and Hellcats are so cheap. I think you just go for that. Check it out. We got some cold air intakes sticking out and an oil cooler. And man, it looks like some A inlines to another cooler down there on this 370Z. Still in intakes. Nice. VQ37 doing its thing. And somebody has some crazy headlights in here. Probably individually addressable and everything. LED halos, carbon inside, convertible. Nissan Row over here, all kinds of cool stuff. Think it'll start? Let's see, I don't see anything wrong with it, so keys in here. <laughs> no check engine light, just a TPMS light. That is cool. Carbon covers on everything. There it goes, idling down. Man, I 
I missed this thing with the uh, rev matching in the manual. This one's an auto, of course, but what a cool car. Here's the Gremlin, a Gremlin X. Uh, we're gonna use this thing in a little bit. We're gonna maybe make a music video with it or something. Very, very clean on this side at least. The seats are coming out. What a cool car. Now I kind of want a Gremlin. This thing rocks. Over here, what do we have? A, a Lancer Rally Art. The rare Lancer. What's up with all these awesome sport sedans, coupes in here? It's the Baby Evo. Of course, it's on aftermarket wheels, carbon fiber hood. Oh, it still has a factory latch and won't open. A C4. This one I've heard was fire damage to the engine. XLR, is that XLR V? Take a look at the XLR. The North Star powered Corvette C6. Very dead. Convertible hardtop. I love these cars. I'd love to have an XLR V just for a little bit. I know it's underpowered. It's not nearly what the Corvette was, but it's cool. Little Hummer H3 action. The Colorado. Pioneer head unit, all the side curtains blue. Maybe you can't tell if this was a rollover or what happened there. I mean, everything's hit. Zombie outbreak. Bought himself a Colorado and just went zombie hunting. You can tell clearly what this was designed for. Now this is something you've probably never seen before. This is a Chrysler 300C Platinum. And that is just wildly rare. This thing has real wood. You can see it's actually sun faded there. Comes with a free apple pie at some restaurant. It is a runner and maybe even drives. 36,000 miles, cool blue LEDs everywhere, full of gas, ready to go. <laughs> Quite the wreck though. Uh, both front airbags, side curtain airbag on the driver's side. Oh, ouch. Too bad to see a rare 300 get destroyed. Something the Mopar people will truly love. This is a PT Cruiser Dream Cruiser 3 with of course the 2.4 turbo out of the uh, SRT. LED headlight bulbs ready to go right there. All kinds of cool stuff. If this car was a manual, it'd be like the ultimate PT Cruiser, untouchable level. Already looks pretty good for a PT Cruiser. One day I'd like to do a manual one, put a 50 trim on it, have a screaming PT Cruiser, a Sequoia V8. All right, maybe there's something to say about it. Rear seat entertainment, and you can see rear temp and uh, passenger audio controls, all kinds of cool stuff inside the Sequoia. We've got a C5 over here that took a big hit to the front end. Big hit to the front end and didn't touch the engine one bit, but you can tell the hood's all folded up and fenders are pushed back. Rear end looks amazing. Bag popped. Seats are wonderful. It's got the sport seats. Nice. Always a good car. Pretty much the best value for money. C5, get in a manual if you can. One of the few cars I recommend getting in manual. Got an old Lincoln right here. Waiting for my tags. Another C5 that looks actually really clean. It's just a passenger front. Oh, huh, well, a passenger front that pushed back into the door, but a convertible, auto. Oh, wow. That thing twerked. Must have smacked a curb or something. Corsa exhaust. I bet it sounds good. That's where it's at. We've got uh, the Tyler Hoover collection here. We've got an Elante. Beautiful interior. I'm in love with it. I've never driven one. If there's one car I'd really love to drive it's definitely one of these and it's got a hard top on it so you can go hard top or drop it have the convertible it's probably a runner buick roadmaster another car it seems like tyler would want a car that i have a lot of experience with an xjr very clean inside very clean inside wow I honestly this might be nicer than mine plus it's got a clock which is what's up has that supercharged ford v8 in there it's basically just a Ford. Infinity M40 or something like that. Convertible, very dirty. What a, M30, there we go. That's what that thing is. GTO, wrapped roof, what engine? The early one, got a 5.7 in there. My favorite new Edge Mustang right here. The Mach 1 with the shaker hood. And this one's been 
really beat 40th anniversary Mach 1. That rear took a big hit. The whole car took a big hit. But really cool nonetheless. Who doesn't love a Mach 1? Over here we got something cool and rare. A Think City car. And the rumor is that this thing like runs. This entire thing has plastic body panels. It looked like oxidization, but it's literally just plastic. The entire back is glass, which is kind of cool. Don't know how you open it. Maybe you can only, only open it with the remote. These are the standard Chinese taillights. I think my Snyder had some similar to that. So you could rent these in cities like Cleveland or Indianapolis or something like that. And this one might've been owned by somebody because it's got an aftermarket head unit. Looks cool inside, power windows, automatic. Very, very simple. There's battery level, and that's probably how much battery is being used, which is kind of cool. The charger's in the back too, check that out, and a book. Yeah. That's not something you see every day. So think city car parts if you need those. This is the one. We have one of my babies here, a car I used to have, S4 B5. Let's see how stock she is. Can we get it open? Well, the hood doesn't want to open up on the old S4 B5, but it looks like it might be pretty stock. Such a good car. All wheel drive, twin turbo V6. Great car, a Riata, Buick Coupe, looks cool. What's this, a second gen Celica or something like that? Good one, maybe. GTS? GTS. Oh man, that's the money Celica right there. An Explorer Sport Track. Well, another one of my favorites, a Lexus IS300. They just bring in all the enthusiast cars here. So many enthusiast cars. It is an auto, but you can shift that auto. And it's still a 2J with an auto, so. Pretty fun to drive around. It's really a great power delivery. Another Buick, old Caddy, old Caddy Seville. What on earth is that off of? It's a heck of an exhaust. Got destroyed. Mini Cooper S, looks like it's from the supercharged years, early one with a manual. That's actually a good car. A Riv, it's a Plymouth Belvedere it looks like. It's complete. Look at this thing. What a cool car. Now that is rare. Pumpkin Run Nationals, 2010. Huh, those beautiful climate controls in this car. That is a sweet looking car. Cadillac Brougham. <laughs> this is a Cadillac XLR, but it's what's left of a Cadillac XLR. Keys are still in there. She's a little wet. This thing has been stripped all the way down to the chassis. Got the Corvette exhaust under there with just some weaker exhaust pipes. Man, it still looks cool. This would be a really, really cool cart if you uh, put a battery in it and started it. <laughs> it's still got the North Star in there. It's perfect for a cart because it doesn't make too much power. Uh, that's, that's pretty sweet. Beautiful Continental Mark IV. Shag carpet. Big doors. These doors must be like four feet long, monster tour. Over here we have what looks like a knockoff, maybe a reproduction extreme, because it has LS badges on it. it. Really seems like somebody tried to build themselves an extreme and didn't really get there, because it's definitely not the Chevy extreme badges. H2 action right here. You know what, let's hop in a car and we'll just drive around the rest of the yard. There's so much to see here, and it's gonna be one of the craziest salvage art tours anyone has ever seen. Oh, oh it works. Trim's falling off. Anyway, this is so good. No, yeah, it's work. great. This is an H2. We're gonna use it to uh, tour the lot. Sure you're for good money. Manual, limited What's up, guys? Well, hey. So he said that's what he wants. This is a pretty is solid H2. Do you think guys? this is yes, the it halos? Is. It works just as well as this I'm one. Not sure. It has LED halos and Memphis. Philip on time. They Sabaru. You got a Sabaru? Oh yeah. Sabaru action CRZ. Is that an Evo? Yeah, Evo, Evo GSR. Nice. Yeah, that's a GSR. That's not even a good one. Um, we've got a Alfa Romeo 164. Yes, you do. Right here. That's freaking cool. This is what happens when Dave and John pre-bid cars. Yeah, that car has not made a dollar yet. <laughs> it's so old, any of it? We've we made our hearts 370 happy. 370 uh, Vert. 300 Z. 300. Yeah, 300 Z. 370 back there. Look at all these hovers. So many hummers. So we got brown ones, black ones. Oh, yeah. 
more Hummers. Yeah, we're not even to Hummer Row yet. SET. Uh, yep. Turbo. 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 Was it? Wow. Uh, buck 80, buck 90, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, Still ran fine. Pretty up there. We got a plug of Fury right here. Next to a, there's a G body coupe on the other side. Yeah, you're gonna want to shut down here soon. <laughs> She's getting warm. She's, she's tapping out. We gotta, we gotta shut her off. We'll grab something else. All right. Yeah, this is try number four. All right. This car is immaculate. It is a Royale bro <laughs> bro home. It's so good. That was a good year. That was a good year. Now we're good to go. Now we're flying. Now we're doing this junkyard style. Angry muskrat for that. Oh yeah. Oh, that was Oh, we've got a uh, Maserati Bi-Turbo. Oh, we yeah. do have a Maserati Bi-Turbo. Yeah. That is super cool. Also hasn't made any money. That makes sense. <laughs> there are new Max SS. Yes. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. There's a V70R. Oh, yeah. we yeah. got a couple of them. We, at one point, we had like 20 V60Rs. Uh, a what? Right there. Grandpa's truck. Right oh, it's 65. Yep. Man, that thing's beautiful. Come back down. All right. I love the Armada because it's just the Titan. Japanese Escalade. Yep. Oh, we should put the battery box on the Mercury Scorpio. Will it start? Yes. Oh gosh. Will I've... the Scorpio start? Come on. This is the Scorpio is one of my dream cars. We got the jump box right here. <laughs> oh, it's an auto. Yeah. If the transmission's in there, all I need is the little cup off the back of this thing. We might have to get it on the forks. Is the uh, evil Bosch Motronic ECU for the antique fuel injection. Yeah. And it is immaculate. Leave it to the Swedes, dude. 2.4, 2.5. Oh, dang. Doesn't get any better than this. This is a luxury salvage yard tour now. Dude, <laughs> we got blind spot assistance. Whoa! Seats are all loose, aren't they? Yep. You know, we yep. take the seats loose and this <laughs> Don't middle. lean. Why Why does it have working air conditioning? Because we're a fancy oh, salvage assembly. Did you move the wheels in front this, of us? I did, I moved <laughs> the one wheel. It's all wheel drive, bro. Oh, so we're good. <laughs> 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 the Equus can still do a burnout. The Equus is dismantled. Yeah. 25 miles till empty tanks. Uh, Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. <laughs> This thing is unbelievably nice. Dude, there were signs on the highway like Ohio, 40 miles, 40 minutes, were like challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the talking uh, turbo New Yorker. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That I is forgot about super her. Cool. We got G20 next to it. Uh, Daytona Turbo. Oh, yeah. Yep. Perfect swap for a Rampage if you guys have a Rampage and want to make yours fast. This is the Jeff Gordon. Yep. We have Jeff Gordon, and we have a Earnhardt, uh -huh. and we have a Junior, and we don't have a Tony Stewart yet. No, oh. we've never seen a Tony Stewart. Yeah, Tony Stewart's all we need. The They're whole... not necessarily great parts cars, we just want to collect them all. Fiat 12 S 600. Fiat 500. Fiat 500 again. Those are the wheels I have. I like the wheels you have on the other one more. I love mine. But yeah. I like those wheels better. Really? That's what the wheels I Quattro have Quattro Porto, that's how I started. That's how I got a hold of time. The QP? QP, I forgot about those. There's the Wizards rolls. Yep. Nice. You know, I actually got a picture of this on the trailer when it was uh, going through Wichita. Really? Yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you. Just like mine. Are you at SVX too? Yeah, that's bad. We, we can hit it if we come down the main row. There's the Cranbrook. Wow. Really part of that. That was a complete car with just a seat burn. That is nuts. It Haggerty. looks nice. It was. it was. Haggerty totaled it for a seat. Huh. Oh, I, I love this old Dodge here. That thing's cool for sure. Some handmade hitch on the back. Yeah, dude, everything in it was... Handmade. Of questionable origin. Did it come to the shop to the... Uh, well, there R3. it is. There's the R3. Ah, yes. There's the R3. You want to get oh, out and like try to look at your grail car? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing left of it, so. Going this way. Yeah, just get mad. I got butt in the ball. Sold the wheels off it, huh? Yeah. That was easy. We sold, oh. we sold the seats. Huh. Pretty well gutted. Yep. That thing's completely gutted. Did well. It's only been here for maybe a month or two. Huh. 
<laughs> Aftermarket XM. <laughs> Super lucky. <laughs> All right, you just missed the biggest drift ever. Anyway, huge thank you to J&J Auto Wrecking for bringing me out here, letting me check out the yard. I don't think anyone's ever been able to do a tour of this place. It's nuts. I mean, if you look behind me, you can see as far as the eye can see, cars and cars and cars. And they've got so many parts for so many enthusiast cars. Huge thank you to them. I had a great weekend up here in Ohio. The weather was perfect. We had a blast and uh, shot some music videos even. You guys will probably see that if you're following them. Make sure you're following them on Instagram. Check them out if you need LSS, anything. And uh, man, so many cool cars here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjr.com where you can get cool shirts like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. And I will talk to you next time. Well, that was a super fun tour. So as you guys know, there's only one thing left to do here. There we go. Hmm. Uh, the answer is always steal the Komatsu. Try not to fork through the back of the Civic. Totally my first time driving one of the articulated ones. I had to drive it around. Full speed, we're in third gear. Oh, this is sweet. <laughs> Basically drifting right now. The best salvage art tour you've ever seen. I kind of want to go pick up a car, fork some stuff around. The joystick for this thing is awesome. That was super fun. Can't beat that.